Hi, Julie Torrance here. So I've got some food packaging and I just love the inside of this food packaging and I need some artist trading cards. So I'm shaking up some clear gesso and I want to start out by putting some stenciling. Now I've got this Hexagon Dreams from PM Artist Studio. And the reason why I'm using clear, and I'm just going to use this as a palette here. Maybe you can't see it. I'm not sure. But what I want to do is I'm going to put this clear gesso on, and then I'm going to use it like a resist. So this particular swap that I'm in, we're to use green. Now I realize you're seeing nothing, and honestly, I'm just seeing wet. But if I get it on here perfect or not, it doesn't matter because I'm going to be cutting this up. I'm going to try to stay, though, within, and this is really a mask, but I'm treating it like a, a stencil. And I'm going to try to stay within the border. But if I go out, I'm going to have to worry about it. And I can tell you that this cardboard that this food packaging is made out of is absorbent. It's absorbing this clear gesso pretty quick and that's fine it's really kind of good because the more I can get done in this video the happier I will be and it's going to dry fast and I'm just using a cosmetic sponge and I'm just working it all through this stencil and again if it's perfect fine if it's not to tell you the truth, I can't really see if I'm getting all the spots or not, or some might be a little bit less covered than others. I, it's all good. Okay, there's one. And I'm going to put some more here. Again, I'm not looking at composition because I, I'm going to cut this up. Um, I know that people, you know, oh, it needs to be, a triangle pattern it needs to be in groups of three or five yes uh, that's true if I was going to be creating one piece but when you're working on a master board which is what I'm doing only it's smaller than a lot of master boards you may see I am simply getting some design and texture as the background of the background because this is going to be cut up into two and a half by three and a half for my stenciling or my ATC swap. Okay. And where I've got some areas still showing, I've got some smaller. This is the same, same mask, but it's smaller. And I'm just going to fill in some of these little spots. I'm working on some deli paper because sometimes this clear stuff, not only is it a little bit hard to get up off of my table, I can't see it. I can feel it and it shows up under the lights. But when I sit down or stand up to clean the area, I can't always see it. Okay. That looks good to me. I'm just gonna set this one aside. I wanna do four. Now the, set that to dry. The swap, you have to have green. So I'm gonna be putting green on these, but then I've got two more, you know, while I've got this whole thing going. Maybe I'll put this one smack dab in the middle. I, uh, I'm gonna do two more boards in it with a, another color theme. Because I am really low on ATCs. Do you make ATCs? Let me know in the comments. I love ATCs because you're getting a little piece of your art in someone else's hands, which is always fun. And I get from anywhere in the world also their art. And I really, I really enjoy that. Little sticking. That's okay. All right. And I'm going to put this one a little bit in the corner. 
I'm not so stingy that why I'm only putting a small amount on, but again, this stuff dries fast. So I don't want to put a big old blob of the gesso on and have it dry on me before I get it used. Okay, we've got some in that corner. We'll put some down here. So what's on your table? What's in your art studio? What's going on? Let me know in the comments. I'm very interested. It looks like some of this gesso is even migrating under my little mask here. And this gesso is pretty fluid. So I can't say I'm surprised. It'll still leave some kind of a design, some kind of a pattern, some kind of a texture. It'll be fine. I'm just really kind of masking off some of this background color because I really like it. All right, let's see. I think I can afford a little bit here. I'm tipping it and twirling it so I can see a little better. See, I do have some there, even though I can't hardly see it. I'm going to put just a little bit here. Again, I got this mask from PM Artist Studios. I will put a link to them. And they have a Facebook page, which is Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists. And it's a very fun Facebook group. I encourage you to take a look for it when you're on Facebook. It, uh, we do a lot of fun things. And it's one of the, honestly, friendliest, most helpful, you, um, not YouTube, Facebook groups I've ever been on. Now, they do have a YouTube channel, PM Artist Studios. And they demonstrate a lot. The owners are Patricia and Mariah. Patricia is a retired arts teacher, and uh, Mariah is, I believe, in graphic arts, but very artistic, lots of knowledge, and sure, they're using their products. There's no denying that, but they also talk about other products that work well with their products, you know, so different texture pastes and different acrylic paints and different papers. So if you watch, if you listen, you can learn a lot. Okay, so this is number three already that we're working on. I'm going to get this over here. I want this to be pretty good and dry before I move on to the next step. Oof. I almost sent it off into the gesso. <laughs> Wouldn't hurt, but we can minimize the mess if I can. Is it springtime where you are or are you getting ready for fall? My friends that are in Australia. I know that some of the places that I watch, some of the artists that I watch, I'm, I'm just checking to see if I can see where maybe I'm missing a spot. Um, some of the people that I watch in the UK uh, they've their spring is is sprung. Wow. Their bulbs are up, their flower gardens are coming alive. It's so exciting. But not here where I live. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. One more. One more. Okay. Again, this is just food packaging. I was you can see. I was eating a lot of popsicles because I had that. I'm still suffering under it, but not, not as bad. Um, 
bad virus and um, I had such a sore throat and popsicles were just my friends. So I had several of these boxes of popsicles that over the last three weeks I was tearing into. So, and doesn't hurt my feelings that I happen to love the packaging. I hope that you're healthy. I'm definitely better. And thanks to everyone who has sent me, oh boy, that moved, well wishes and checking in on me. I appreciate it very much. It means a lot. It really does. All of us that make YouTube videos that you may be enjoying, we appreciate your comments. It helps our channel and it, it gives us a, a little barometer into what folks are thinking, what what they're enjoying. They, sh you know, people share ideas and they share how maybe they solved a problem that they could see you were having or share a, a better way to maybe skin the cat. And I appreciate it. So leave your comments, even if you're just telling me about the weather. My channel is almost a year old. I can't hardly believe it. And I have some people that watch that have been watching from my day one. And to those of you, thank you so much for your faithfulness. There are about 50% of the people that watch my videos that uh, haven't subscribed yet. So, how about today? Consider subscribing. All right. I've got gesso on four of these. Now, let me pull up the first one. A bit of a reach. Still a little wet. Grabbing the heat tool. I'm not big on heat tooling uh, acrylic, but we're going to give it a go for the sake of the video. I'll be right back. Okay, I got these first two done. Let me just get the gesso closed up. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a piece of paper towel. And I'm going to start out working with the green. So I have two spray inks. This one is a Distress Mica Stain, and it's called Wicked Elixir. And I got this from... Ranger when they were having a uh, like mystery box and I've gotten one or two of their mystery boxes I think one but uh, it was such a good value that I would do it again and you just have to keep going to their site and keep checking and then you'll see when they have one of them ready to go let's just move this aside and then this one is called Dry Martini, and this one is Dilution. It's still a Ranger product. Now I'm going to start out with the, the non-mica one, the non-shimmery one. And I'm pretty sure this is dry enough to do the next step. I am not looking to saturate this, but I just want to get some green on here and there. And then um, I'm going to... Rub it off with the paper towel and see if we get some resist going. So here we go. Let's just, well, that's not even going down. What's the matter here? All right. We'll give it one more check here. And let's see. Yep. It's doing nothing. Isn't that the way? One more try. Okay. Okay. I'm back. I was going to use two colors, but the one color just doesn't seem to want to spray. So let's just give this one a go. And I'll just have to soak the other one. I'll have to soak the plunger. But here we go. This one's 
brand new. Let's give this, oh, this is a pretty color. And as I was saying earlier, I'm not looking to saturate the whole thing. But I'm just hoping that, and we are getting some of the resist or you can just see better the stamping. What's that stamping? The stenciling. I hope you can see it. I can see it. I think it looks cool. Okay, let's set this one aside to dry. And let's give this one a go. And these will be my two greens. All right, here we go. Okay. Yep, I can see it. It just makes a subtle pattern on top. And I like it a lot. Okay, great. All right. Now, these are both a little bit damp, but that's not going to matter. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do some stamping on top. So I've got a couple of stamps. Now, the first stamp I'm going to use is this word stamp. And I got this from one of my swaps that I did. And Lynn was so kind to add this stamp in my package. So it's just teeny tiny little words. See? And they're just little happy little phrases. So I'm going to just leave the acrylic on the back. And I've got my Distress inks. So it's got the four colors. It's got Hickory Smoke, Vintage Photo, Ground Espresso, and Black Soot. And I think I'm going to use the Ground Espresso. And I'm not looking for perfect stamping. I just want to get some more texture in the background. So I'm just going to grab some ink with this corner and give it a go. Oh, yes, I love it. And again, I'm not looking for an overall where where this would be like one, one piece. This is going to be cut. So I'm just going to get now I'm going to switch to the other corner and I'm going to use black soot. And put some more on with the black soot. That gives a totally different look, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. I think it's pretty. Definitely. A little more. Down in the corner. Up in this corner. Maybe I'll put up in that corner some more of the ground espresso. There we go. All right. I love that. Now I'm going to... Get this now. This is my Ranger Dilutions. Uh, it's a ruler, but for bigger stamps, and this is an indigo blue stamp, it's called Floral Swirl. And I'm going to mount it on the ruler again. I'm not looking for a perfect stamping. I'm going to start out with the Hickory Smoke, which is kind of a gray color. And just get some of this on here for the background. Oh, yeah. I like that. Again. Mm-hmm. Good. Over here. And I'm just hitting the spots that, to me, are just a little bit more blank than others. That looks fine. Down here. That's nice. Over here a little bit. And I don't mind turning it over, having these appear upside down because it's not like the words. It won't really appear upside down. That's good. A little bit here. Okay. Doesn't that look like a nice background? And it's shimmery, and I don't know if you can see the texture of the stenciling, but it's definitely there, and it looks great. All right? Get the other green one. Here we go. Oop, I bumped you. Sorry. All right. 
let's get that word stamp going. And here's the vintage photo. Oh, that looked black. Oh, it's black soot. Well, that's fine. Yeah, good. Mm hmm All right, let's go up. Where was the ground espresso? Over here. Let's try it out with this. Yeah, good. I realize they're kind of coming out like my handprint. That's okay. And yes, if I had a piece of foam under here, I'd get different results and all that. I realize it. But again, I'm really not trying to get that kind of a print. I'm just trying to get some interest in the background. Yeah, I like that a lot. Let's get some down here and a little down here. Okay, that's good. And now let's get the swirly one. And I'm going to go over two of the inks. Put it right down the middle. Oh, yes. That looks nice. Do the same. Because, again, it's going to be cut. Good. Let's turn it around. Get some here. Mm-hmm. Up here. A little over here. And there. Okay. So we've got the two greens. We bring up this one. And I like them really well. They do not look the same to me, and yet they look companion to me. Okay. Moving on. Whoops, can't reach it. There we go. Okay, now. Where did my piece of paper towel go for heaven's sakes? Oh, here it is. Okay. So I want to kind of fold in the green. Now, maybe this time I'll be able to do two colors. Don't know, but we're going to give it a shot. So let's close this up. And I'm going to start with Peony Blush and give it a go. Good. Since I know I've got two sprays that I'm going to be using, I am totally fine with this being a little less coverage than it was. This is the red is showing up better and I did not dry this like I did the other. I am gonna give it a little bit more, even if it's blotchy, I, I really don't care. Yeah, I like that there's like spots, smeary spots. Okay, now this color, this is a, it, I, I don't really know what the name of it is. It's um, Tattered Angels. I don't even know if they make it anymore. I got this from Tuesday morning. It's called Apricot Jelly, but it gives you a really nice gold, more gold shimmer than anything I've ever used. And I just love it. I'll be sad when that's gone. All right, let's just give this a rub over. Beautiful. Nice and shimmery. Can you see this, the stenciling on this one better? I can. I still like the other, but this was more successful in showing up. Don't know why, but it is. All right, one more boarding house reach here. Okay, on with this peony blush. I'm going to have to tip it up because the bottle's getting low. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, this one's really showing up. Now, what's the difference? You got me. You got me. Tip it up again. There we go. Get a little bit more. Good, good, good. I'm going to jump right in with the gold. That is so pretty. This corner, again, because I'm going to be cutting it, if the corners are not having something, I think it'll be more obvious than it was. That's fine. I got a couple of good drips here. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? This is not my first rodeo with sprays, and they're just this way. They work, and then within moments, they don't. And that's just kind of the way it is. I've got some that went way over here. Oh, some over here. Hmm. All right. It's, it's good. I like it. All right. I'm going to stick with this one. Let's put these lids on before I end up with spray everywhere. I think this is the peony blush one. Nope. Let's try this one. Okay. Now, stamping. I'm going to use the same stamps that I had. And back to the vintage photo. I'm going to turn it sideways. It's a little handier for me. Oh, I like that. Mm hmm let me know what you think is this a technique you might consider trying all right switching it up ground espresso I'm liking this Put some down in this corner Very good. Over here. Very nice. One more. Oh, I set it right in the gesso. That's okay, but boy, you got to get that off because you will end up ruining your stamp with acrylic. So I'm just rubbing this off quick. All right, there we go. No problem. It'll be fine. Oh, I can still see some on there. Okay. That'll be good. All right. Now the swirly one. It's right here. And I'm going right across. I might have go, go across the whole thing. All four colors. And yes, there'll be lines in there, but it doesn't matter. Let's put it right here. Great. One more here. I'm going to turn it around. A little bit here. Nice. Do another, all four of them. Let's turn it around. Yep. Okay. Oh, I like it. I hope you do. There's a big spot here, but it's got a lot of those words in there, so I'm just going to leave that spot alone. I'm going to get something right there, though. Okay, well, let's take a look at what we've got. I'm not sure if I can get all four in at once. Oh, wait a minute. Where am I going? I still have this one. Well, let's not be hasty. 
Let's get some words on here. Oh, look at, I did it again. I don't know how I'm getting gesso. Well, I'm just going to put this on top of that gesso. There we go. Good. Beautiful. Nice. It almost looks like newsprint to me. The second part up here, this is like a ghost print. Oh, it still came out nice. All right, I've got some blank spots, but that's fine. Let's get the swirly one. And I'm going to put it here in the ground espresso. Yep, I'm gonna do kind of an edgy one here. Well done. A little bit here. Yeah, that's good. Nice. Get a whole one. Let's get the whole thing on here. Now the words go this way. I'm going to put it on this way. And let's see what we get. There. A little more here. Yeah, I agree. A little more here. And maybe just a little bit there. Just kind of got the edge. Oh, that's just fine. Okay, now back to where we were. Let's take a look. So here is an orange one. And here, look how different and yet done the same. This one's upside down as far as the, the wording goes. So is this one. There. I think that's going to be a good start to some artist trading cards. And then for the swap, green. Okay. So my next video, I'm going to have these cut up. And we're going to decorate. And then maybe get the backs done. All right please consider subscribing. It will help my channel so much. I appreciate that you're here. Please consider liking, subscribing, and I will see you in another video. Bye now.